welcome to my channel in this tutorial this is not actually a tutorial it's it's just uh, i'm going to give you a few tips um, if you are going to create a very complicated timeline just like the one i've got here um, and it's kind of like your first time you want to give it a go you don't know where to start and here's uh, here are the few tips that i I, it can make life a lot easier for you the um, the first thing that I would advise you to do is to create folders like so that I've done here for every item that you're going to use in your timeline um, for example if you've got um, different various b-roll shots and you've got a roll shots for example just separate them here i've got two folders dedicated to b-rolls b-roll and b-roll 2 and i've got another folder here for transition sound effects um, there's another one here for lower thirds and there's one for music just just the different kind of musics that i've used here and the last one here is the sound effects all other sound effects that I have used here in just to let you know that in in a two minute clip um, the one that you just watched at the beginning of this um, this video um, you just watched about half of it um, this video is also available on my channel you can see the full video uh, there um, it, the uh, length of this video is about two minutes and in a two minute clip I have used about 100 different sound effects and you can see that how messy it gets here that everything has got to be in the right places and the exact point sometimes you want to make a copy of a sound effect for example you want to make a copy of this one and use it over here for example you really need to set things in a way that you can find them really easy otherwise it's going to take you a long time to create your video and there's there's going to be a lot of scope for making mistakes um, but this way i would suggest that you create first you will create different folders for the items that you're going to use and in addition to that you want to color code your folders for easy um, identification and also you want to do the same thing in your timeline uh, as you can see here these section that with with this color here everything that i've got here in this color these are all sound effects they're not music and um, my music is here just in a different color as you can see these are just the music here um, on top i have uh, the darker color here which is my text and the lower third ones here in yellow is my adjustment layer and I'm not going to, um, to color code the footage because it is very obvious where the footage is. So this is this is only a B-roll that I have used here, and um, these are the copies of the B-rolls that I have uh, used um, on top of one another, and you can see the effect in the footage that uh, what I mean by that. But um, the um, the easiest way of getting through this in in a very quick time and effortlessly is to organize your um, library here your project panel and make sure that everything is in order and you can i mean i do have some subfolders inside the folders as well for example for example inside the sound effects set folder that i have here i have three four other folders uh, one is named water the other one is named um, wind the other one horses uh, birds you know uh, dog barking laughter you just want to put them all in different folders because there are different effects and they're in different lengths so you want to be able to access them really quickly if you want more tips and more videos like this please leave your comments below and let me know until next time
Be safe.